Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. My name's Melanie Newman and we have Ziggy <laughs> with us today. And you might have caught our other tutorial on scissoring his feet, but now we are going to groom his little head. But I'm going to share with you how I clip in my heads and then scissor over the top so we get a really nice round cute little teddy head but we're actually going to be using a lot of clipping and a lot of scissoring in this tutorial so stay tuned good boy okay so i've clipped up to his jawline so let's take it through our clipped area so right up to that jawline and then if i pop his head down I'm just going to skim in the top of his skull area. So it's just at his occiput area. And then I'm going to use my half an inch snap-on comb and just come on the top of his skull and then pop that ear back and on his cheek area so from his ear to the outer corner of his eye actually where his muzzle starts I'm just going to come straight off so I'm not coming into his muzzle at all and then the other side And then check how it looks from the front and I can see where I need to come in a little bit more where we're coming in from our cheek into the top of our skull so just blending that in with our clippers now he he has quite a short tail so I'm going to do the same length on his ears so half an inch and when we clip ears we always want to go outwards so towards the edge of the ear. So heading out towards the ear leather and then flip the ear over and do the same thing. So always following outwards towards the ear leather, the edge of the ear. So we're following the direction of the hair growth. Good boy, buddy. We don't want to come straight down the edge of the ear into there because between our snap-on attachment comb, the actual ear leather can get caught in between there. So it's really important that we come outwards on that ear leather to the edge of the ear. So if we visualize, just coming out. Good boy. And our other ear. Good boy. Flip the ear over. Okay, so we're pretty happy with that. Good boy, buddy. So using our fine tooth comb, I'm just going to comb out all those little hairs in front of his eyes and then using our thinners I'm coming up against the grain of his hair in front of his eyes and just scissoring out as much of that little staining as I possibly can and then his other side and then when we do his stop area so this area between his two eyes I'm actually going to go with and I like to come up a little bit and kind of remove the hair right in this stop area. So we get that nice expression in between that eye area. So 
So you can see how I'm cutting the hair but then moving the thinners outwards. Good boy, I think he quite likes this, he's falling asleep. And then the other side. So this just keeps it nice and clean and gives it more of that natural appearance. Good boy. And let's comb that fringe forward. And using my blenders, I'm still going to pop them on a 45 degree angle and then just blend his fringe in with the clipped area. Flip it around and do the other side. And let's just cross check and comb it all forward because we don't want any little hairs that are going to curl around and annoy him into those little eyes. Okay, so let's just move all this hair and we can actually see these little bits that are quite long. So if I comb all this up and then use my blenders and just blend in those longer bits that the clippers couldn't grab hold of. So I'm pretty happy with how that's blended in. Let's just bring in the top of his skull a little bit more. So we're just going to round it in so we want a nice round head. He has some little knots and tangles through his mouth area and I actually avoid brushing them out because I don't want to hurt him. So what I do is just come along with my thinners and just do a couple of cuts. So it's little bits of food and when you've been playing outside that get caught in there and then gently use your slicker because he really hates his muzzle being brushed and then give it a little brush when it's still not removing grab your thinners again cut out some more use your little brush it's nearly out darling nearly out there we go so let's just cross check with our comb yep good all clear and then let's do the other side Use our little slicker, good boy. And then let's just use our comb to cross check. And that's all out. Good boy. Okay, so let's scissor around his mouth area. Good boy. Like I said, he doesn't really like his head being played with even his little muzzle. So I'm gonna try and keep it closed, keep that little mouth closed. And using my straights, I'm going to follow that lip area around. So it just neatens it up. And it actually gets rid of a little bit of the staining as well. But it creates a nice little lip. And I just want to get rid of a bit more staining through here. So just using my thinners just to blend it out a bit. So it looks a bit nicer. Good boy. So from that side profile, we want a nice round head. So we're going to move the ear back. Comb the hair down and using our blenders, I'm going to come from the front of his muzzle. So where we've scissored with our straights, but we're coming in with our blenders 
and then coming up into his ear so it's like a half a circle so I'm happy with that shape so I'm going to start to blend it down. So when I'm blending, I'm always going with the direction of the coat growth. If I start to go against like this, I start to bulk reduce and the hair actually starts to look really thin. And I wanna keep this really full and plush. So we're going to blend this into our clipper work. So we can see where we're actually blending from our half an inch into our five blade. Let's switch it around. Now from the other side, because I'm right handed, let's just move that head on that side. And I'm going to begin by scissoring out in front of his ear canal. And then I'm going to go the opposite way. So I'm going to come from his ear back into his muzzle. I know. So I can still get a visual of that circle I'm trying to create. So again, let's start to blend that in. So if I just move his head back gently, we can see, good boy buddy, we can see where we need to blend in from our five blade into our muzzle. So there's a V shape made by our jawline. So this is what I'm going to follow and he really hates this part. Good boy, buddy. But we're going to come in and blend that in. Good boy. Good boy. So when his head's in his natural position, so it's straight on, we don't get all these hairs coming down. So it's a nice and tidy jawline underneath. And then coming from the front and blending that in. Good boy. So we want to make sure it's even on both sides as well. So as I'm scissoring his jawline in, I'm watching both sides of his jaw. Good boy. Okay, so I'm happy with that shape. And now we are going to use our thinners to blend in and I'm not going to thin the coat. So we're going to blend. So we're going to go with the direction of the coat growth to blend it in. So all these little flyaway hairs on the top of his little muzzle, we're going to blend in with the side of his muzzle. Good boy. Because I feel like his coat is more of a drop coat, so it actually falls. Even though he does have quite curly coat on his body, it's actually quite straight on the muzzle area. Good boy. his other side. Good boy, buddy. Flipping our scissors over and again going with. It can be really easy to come up against, but that may make this area too sparse with the hair. And again, we want to keep it nice and full. So 
okay and let's just take off a bit of this staining on the top of his nose so it really helps to minimize the appearance of any stains okay so i'm happy with his little head uh, now we are going to scissor his ears so i'm going to use my universal slicker and when we scissor our ears we are going to scissor towards the tip of the ear and i'm always going to go towards the tip scissoring with and then flipping the ear and scissoring in that action so because it's really hard for me to come this way i just need to flip that ear and come that way so let's move all that hair to one side good boy and just using the tips of my scissors i'm not forcing my scissors through so i'm guiding the edge of his ear leather is where i'm guiding through with my fingers Good boy. So I can actually feel where the edge of his ear is. So the other side, so flip that ear over and I can feel where his ear leather is with my fingers. No, we're not sitting down. It's not night night time. Up we go. And scissoring towards the tip. And let's just move that ear forward and scissor behind it but I'd really like to soften this ear so I'm going to use my blenders and just come around the edges so it just softens it so it's not a sharp edge and flip the ear around and coming towards the tip Good boy, because I do like a cute little teddy ear, so nice and round. So it's a bit pointy through here, so I use my blenders and round it in. I know, come on, this way. So we get a cute little teddy ear. And let's comb that transitional area from the clipped area and his ear area so we can see what we need to actually scissor off so I'm going to use my blenders and come in at the top of that ear leather and blend it in good boy oh, good boy you look cute okay so let's do this other ear so use our slicker move all that hair into place use our straights come along that ear leather edge of the ear flip the ear around so we're always heading towards the tip and then guiding with our fingers where the ear leather finishes brush it all out again use our blenders to soften those edges and really rounding this tip so I like the way a round ear sits it's a lot softer and it does give that teddy appearance good boy brush those little hairs up again and using our blenders towards the tip good boy you look beautiful Come on. now we want our two sides to match so when I come to our other side I still comb up the side that's completed so I can see I need to take off a little bit more here and then I can see what I need to match with. 
So I like everything to be even Stevens and I like everything to grow out nice and even. So as this head grows out, there's not bits growing longer here because they're shorter on this side. It's growing out even and it's really unified. Let's move his ears forward and get those little bits at the back. Oh boy, I'm just gonna tidy up the tip of his ear. As I can see there's longer bits here and that's the first place it would grow out is these longer bits. You would notice them first in a couple of weeks. Okay, so let's just double check our head. So comb everything up and then just make sure everything's even. So this side's a little bit longer. So I'm going to come in with my thinners and just blend that out. His mum does trim his muzzle so there is short bits and longer bits in his muzzle but that doesn't really bother me because I mean it's more important that he's kept tidy and again he's not a fan of his muzzle being brushed so it doesn't bother me that his mum trims it and trims his eyes. She does a pretty good job. Good boy. Well guys, this is how I clip and set in my heads and then scissor over the top of it. And this is a cute little head and it's actually a really quick head. It only takes me probably about 10, maybe 15 minutes to complete. He is pretty excited because he knows that his head is the last part to get groomed. So he knows it's home time for him. If you guys have any questions, definitely pop your questions in the comments below and I will definitely get back to you. And if you guys would like to see more grooming tutorials from me, definitely subscribe to our channel. And until next time guys, happy grooming.